Hey, right, okay, let's go. Officer Demling. This is my canine partner, Ronan. Ready, bud? Oh, you ready? You gonna find it? It's amazing how fast they can pick up on stuff. Good checks. Check. All these dogs are gonna be dual purpose in narcotics. Seek dope. Heroin, methamphetamines, cocaine, that kind of stuff. Good. Well, we could find dangerous armed felons. If they ran from us, they can also find those articles that were tossed on the ground. Good job, buddy! They're also really good just to go out in the community and, you know, let the kids see it, let the kids pet them. And it's kind of fun doing that because you have, at one end, you have a dog that will find bad guys and take a dangerous person to the ground. At the same time, they can, you know, kids for the most part can go up and pet them and they're really well-rounded dogs. Yep. This class is 14 weeks. Good. Nope. Yep. It's all day long. You're kind of working on a different area for a little bit and then you go over here and do that. And it's a full-time job on your feet all day and running around, so. 99% of our work has to do with their nose, so finding things. Missing people, missing kids, finding people that have wandered off, autistic kids, things like that. Every dog is different, and that's the fun part about training dogs and working with dogs. They all have their own personalities, they all have their own motivations. Yes! You really have to get to know them and learn them, because just in class here, there's some that I could walk right up to and pet, and there's some that we can't walk up to. <laughs> Check up. The dogs pick things up repetition quicker than we think they do, and they're constantly watching us and trying to figure out patterns. First week, they don't really know what they're doing. You do have that breakthrough where you're like, you go through, you might direct them somewhere, they might come off, and then all of a sudden it's almost like a light bulb comes on, and they do this head snap, like, oh, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Yes, yeah, dog a boy, oh yeah. And so it's really about training the humans and the handlers how to work with the dogs. It's not because of the dog. It's something that the guy holding the lead is doing that's shaping that behavior. Oh, he knocked it over. Being a canine never stops. The work goes home with you. The dog lives with you at your house, so you have to be fully committed to that challenge. You know, going from where we started, you know, with a highly driven dog with real no training, obedience, anything like that, and they don't like to let go, they don't like to listen, now we can just call them off by voice and come right back to you. It's, it's come a long ways. Yeah, that's a good boy! Oh yeah! Good boy! Oh, that's a good boy. Good job, bud. Um, good. Oh, you knocked it over. Good. Um, good.